Hello, welcome back. It's hard to believe, but we're at Excel Video 250. Thanks for watching all these videos. Hope they've been helpful for you. I'm leaving tomorrow to speak for Montana MGMA. Bring your laptops, follow along on pivot tables. If I haven't spoken in your state lately, I'd love to. We're going to keep going with tabs. Get a little fancier today. A kind of a clever trick that is really handy if you've got data on similar tabs, like January, February, March budget, 2011, 12, 13 results, or something like that, where you've got similar data on each tab. Here's a trick that might be helpful for you. It's a little bit hard to see in the video, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the Dashboard tab. I'm going to hold down Shift and click on Test. See how the color went away from data? If I hadn't colored the tabs, it might make it a little bit easier to see, but I've got Dashboard, Data, and Test tabs selected at once. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here to cell A14, and I'm going to type, this is really cool. So now if, if I come and look on the Data tab, See how A14 and the test tab A14, I've changed multiple tabs at the same time by selecting all three. And then to get out of it, I just click on one of a non-tab, one of the tabs I haven't selected, how's that? And I clearly don't have it here on sheet four is A14, but I do it dashboard, I do it test, and, and I do it data. So that's all good to go. I'm gonna hold down the shift, come back to dashboard, select all three again. It works on more than just cells. Let me show you one more trick while uh, we're talking about it. Let's assume that if we go to the Page Layout tab, we want to put a footer on each tab. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Header and Footer. Let's do a Custom Footer. And in the left section, let's do the Sheet Name. And then in the center section, we'll do our This Is Really Cool thing again. And in the right section, oh, I'm not sure it matters. We could put, should put the date. That's as good as anything. We'll click OK. And then I'm going to click OK to get out. And I'm going to click someplace in a different tab. So now see my colors came back. I haven't selected all three tabs anymore. But I'm going to go to the Dashboard tab and go to File. We'll go to Print. And here is a print preview of the Dashboard tab. And see, there's this is really cool that we did. And if you scroll down, there's the name of the tab, Dashboard. And if we scrolled over, you could see this is really cool. It's in the center of our footer. So not only is that really cool, but if you come back, let's come back say to the data tab do the same thing file print this is really cool that we did there and Excel smart no 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 Nate you're on the data tab I'll put data there as the name of that tab and there's this is really cool again and by now you're gonna know what's gonna happen when I hit the test tab come print preview that sure enough there's test so the idea is by selecting multiple tabs at once you can group those tabs and whatever you do to one you can do to all and it makes it just really easy again if you've got multiple consistent things going on whether it's the same month the same year the same location the same doctor the same employee group the same insurance type data if it's on multiple tabs well here's a cool way to change multiple things at once and save you a bunch of time I hope that was helpful for you thanks for watching